All right, look, this is a perfect example of a desert chameleon, the graceful, right here, under a canopy, getting out of the UVB, getting out of the heat, okay? This is just, this is one of the cages I used to acclimate, so I keep it like this, nice and simple. I got the pads on the bottom, so the parasites, if they have any, don't go anywhere. All right, here's my UVB meter. See that? Okay. Right now I'm getting 5% off of that T5 high output. Now look, we're going to go closer, closer. Oh, fuck it, go up here. Okay, look at that. 76, 70. I mean, the closer I get, it's harder for you to see. 120, 1 something, you know, that's a high reading. But look, you come under here, and he's he come under here, and he's out of it. You get it? Come back, keep going up. It goes up, 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 the closer you get. So he always has the option to get out from under it. He's choosing to stay under there. Or he can go up here. And when he wants to bask, he goes up here. He knows where to go. If he doesn't want to do anything, he goes down here. Lots and lots of options in this cage. That's why different levels give different options. I know that the level down here is 5, so he has a safe zone. See what I'm saying? He has a safe zone. He's out of UVB, out of heat. I come up here, he's got 30, 31. Now, when I said positioning of the light matters, is because see how the light is over there? Like, you know, it's closer to the front of the cage or where the UVB bulb is on it. All right. So I got to come in more. And then, boom, I hit it. Can you know if you can see it? Yeah. Okay. So now we're closer to where the light is. Like, the, the light's forward on the cage more instead of backwards. And there. But if I go back here, it's lower. So he has a spot of UVB basking as well. I know it's hard to understand, but it's how it works.